Hey guys, Blamager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Tales of Knuckles. And here we are in the Lava Reef. This is kind of a fun zone. It kind of sucks if you don't have a fire shield. But, uh, it's not too bad if you don't. I mean, obviously the fire shield is what you want here. And if you can't figure that out, then you are definitely a moron. I'm gonna go ahead and get that lightning shield because it's all we can have for right now. And we got a boulder about to follow us. So we're gonna run. Alright, those guys, they let out this gas. And if you run through it, it will stick to you and drain rings from you. And if you have no rings, you will die. And that was smooth. Now, if you have a fire shield, you can actually go through the lava that falls there. And luckily, there's a fire shield right here. Sweet. So, the lava is no longer our enemy. And those rock guys that blow up are kind of bad if you don't have a shield. But if you do have a shield, then they can't possibly hurt you, which is kind of cool. All right, I totally didn't mean to do that, but uh, there's an extra life up here, and I think there's something over here. Yeah, rings. Yeah, I actually didn't want to use my super form for this stage, but that's uh, all right. I'm sure I'll hit a star post soon. It's not like anything could really hurt me in this stage anyways. Except for that, but... I don't know if it's a not hurting me now. I wish the Flickies could activate switches for me, but then again, I guess that would be, like, too easy. I mean, it's already... Aw, oh, dang it! I did not want that. Oh well. As long as I'm super form, it doesn't really matter. But once I'm not super form, it's gonna suck. Oh, one thing I didn't mention is that you could tell which special stage you're getting by the color of the stars. Uh, I think if they're all white, you get the gumball. I think if some of them are... If some of them are uh, red, you get the slot machine. I think if some of them are orange, you get the like electric thing with the balls that send you flying or whatever. Anyway, I want a fire shield and I don't want to risk getting something else, so I'm just going to use up all these bumpers and let the gum ball machine fall. Oh, and there's another fire shield right here, so I wasted my time. Oh, whale. That's fine, because there's a boss coming up before long. And I didn't want to cheese bosses. Unless I absolutely had to. Oh, he got me. He got me. If you kill him, you can uh, get rid of the gas. Otherwise, I think it just stays on you until you die. Kinda cool if you're playing a Sonic with Tails, because Tails will usually go and kill those guys without you even knowing it. And there's a lot of those spike balls back from uh, Marble Garden, except this time they're not on a chain and they just roll around. And I just got squashed. That is something to watch out for. And it put me a good bit back. That's alright, dude. I don't think I'll take a different path this time. Might help if I'm 
facing the right way. Sweet. I didn't know about this. Alright. One up. I'm gonna get out of that. <laughs> Darn you. <laughs> Man, I saw a really funny comic about those guys. Or was it a comic? It might have been a flash video. But they're like potheads. They're like, hey man, Sonic's coming. Dang it. Lost the fire shield. Playing pretty sloppy right now. That's alright. This level's not too hard. That sucked. And we're back here again. Stop playing so sloppy. Time to get my A game on. There's a lot of these guys that just blow up, so it's pretty rough if you don't have a shield. But I made it through that time. I'm going to just switch around here for something. Maybe there's not. Dang, I might have to take another, <coughs> another break from my voice. I'm starting to lose it. Super form. Now you actually don't have to do any damage to these things, but it makes it a whole lot easier if you do. The only thing you have to do damage to is the hand. And I don't know why I didn't hit him just then. But once those things are gone, you don't have to worry about them popping up and shooting you, and the hand will always come back up immediately. And of course I would have already pwned this guy a hundred times over if I was super form. Now I can't go super form, but that's alright. Now, if you're really pro, you can just stand there and wait for him to stop moving and then jump right before he slams down. Obviously, I'm not pro enough. I think after six hits, he goes down. Could be wrong on that, though. I don't even know how many times I've hit him so far. It's either six or eight. That way. And he is down. Alright, Act 1 is done. And it looks like everything cooled down. However, there's still fire traps all about to be worried about. I actually didn't mean to jump up there. Now you got this little spike rope here. Not too hard to avoid. There's actually a lot more things to worry about crushing you in this act than there was in Act 1. Fire shield! That's really helpful. 
I should have gone that way to begin with. Some Eggman containers. Spikes waiting to shoot up at you. Honestly, I sometimes think that this act, it's more important to have a fire shield than it is in Act 1. That was totally a noob thing to do right there. enough rings to get a shield. Oh well. No biggie. Cheesing the level with my flight. It's okay. So we got a really annoying level coming up soon. Next real level anyway. Eh, they're still throwing a few of those gas guys around, but not as much as they were before. Fire shield. Eh, it was worth it to lose my rings for that. And we're waiting. I really hate waiting in Sonic games. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get hit by the gas with only one ring on hand. Just so you know, if you have a shield and no rings, it will still kill you instantly. Let's see. This is just like the, uh... Just like the bonus stage with the electric stuff and the giant balls. You wanna... You wanna press the button when you're in about the middle of the ladder. To get your maximum distance. rings. Cool little running sequence there. Actually, that kind of running sequence you don't really see in Sonic games except for Sonic CD, I think. stage is fairly short. I say that even though I'm four minutes into it. I guess it just feels short. But I'm pretty much at the end of it now. A funny thing to note about this game is that the uh, level select considers the boss of Lava Reef Zone to be Act 3. Whereas this is Act 2. Uh oh. Knuckles is back to be a D bag again. Oh no! And there we go. Oh no, it's the Death Egg! Now, Eggman's gonna fly by and shoot missiles at you. However, if you're good, you can avoid it. Just keep in mind that the only platforms he doesn't target are the breakaway ones. And you gotta be fairly good at quick platforming to get through this. Now one interesting thing to note here is that if for whatever reason you uh 
end up dying if you hit that star post. There's actually enough rings to go super form afterwards. I'm going to try not to cheese this boss. Even though this boss is actually really hard to do without a fire shield. I mean, really hard. Because sometimes they f the spikes are partially overlapping the uh, platforms. And if you touch them, like, at all, they get you. So, yeah. And if I end up losing my fire shield doing this, I'm probably going to go super form. Yeah, this boss is totally invincible, except for his own spikes, which is kind of dumb. I wonder if Eggman ever thinks about these things when he creates these machines. But eventually, he will kill himself. And if you just keep jumping on the platforms, I've actually been doing like super awesome compared to how I normally am. Normally I'm like all over the place, I'm hitting the balls when they uh, land in the lava. Alright, one thing to note here is if you are super form, you need to make sure that you're standing on a platform when the last hit is made or else you will die. Because the lava doesn't go away until you hit that thing and you lose your super form as soon as the last hit is made. But anyways, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys later.